Hold a cold one like he hold an old gun uh -huh. Like he hold a microphone on a stolen show for fun yeah. Or a phone for ransom Blows his hands, some holes in tandem Anthem, random, tantrum Woo. Phantom of the grand old Aubrey That's the dumb hottie Mass pump shotty, somebody stop me yeah. On the retorted hard copy uh -huh. Not the rock of parties, he departed in a jalopy yeah. Watch the drop top popping Woo. All that the grimy, slimy, climy Simply smashing in a fashion that's timely yeah. Mad villain dashing in a beat rhyme crime Woo. spree We rock the house like rock and roll Got more soul in a sock with a hole Woo. Set the stage with a goal to I'll ask you, how you got involved in hip-hop? Really? Hmm, let me think Hip-hop was just what was going on at the time Like, you know, I always wrote, wrote rhymes and whatnot and kept with it and really, well, I've been doing it for so long. Well, professionally, I got in the game really um, through, through third base, a member of third base, MC Search. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hooking up with him, he got into the game somehow, and he, and he started introducing me to people, you know what I mean? Once upon a time, there was a little boy who lived in the deep, dark jungles of Africa. His name was Little Sambo. Uh oh, Zio's exercising his right to be hostile. They always trying to say that cool is me. I don't understand, man. You don't understand. No. My temper, temper's up to like ten. When switch up his thoughts that I recommend. Minus his flood, but thicker as blood. Plus, still some stay stud like sticks in the mud. I will probe them from nuclear's keep me from flipping daily. Yet I constantly slip into thinking. Kind of loony In my logo You see us Who ever said that cool is me Who me Who me Holy smokes I see it's a joke To make a mockery Of the original folks Okay Joke's over But still a cloak's over Us with no luck Or no clover This irritates X So goes into my text To erase one and word So how did the name MF Doom Actually come about? Ever since I was young, like, you know, back in the days type shit, all my friends always always used to call me Doom, you know what I'm saying? So, that's why I got the Doom part of it. And my partner, Grim, he came up with the, M with the MF part, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. With, with the, uh, the MX prefix or the MX, MF-like title, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? Um, for him, it was Mad Flows. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, Mad Flows, Grim Reaper. So then he brought me into it, and I adopted the MF title. My MF is Metal Face, you know what I'm saying? Metal Face Doom, so it so, worked out just fine. All right, the mask is really like, it, it, it really shows, it's showing the, the whole aspect of the music that, that like, all right, it's all about the music. It has nothing to do with the, what the person looks like. And it's also giving the, I like to give the, um, the listener a, a, like a feeling of, it could be, I could be them. I could be any one of them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Doom is the average Joe, you know what I'm saying? He ain't like the, the flyest, coolest dude, you know what I'm saying? Or the or the one who got all the money, but he's just the cat you know that's your man, you know what I'm saying? So the mask is like showing everybody that I could be them, or they could be me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what's the situation with your aliases? I mean, you got MF Doom, you got Victor Vaughn, etc. Um, Why do you have different names? Well, it's really, it's really, it's really like this. I consider myself a writer. When I write, when I write, I'm writing for different characters. I'm writing for different scenes, different times. You know what I mean? I can write. Sometimes I write a rhyme from 1992 or 1992 style, 1992 references, but I'll write it now. You know what I mean? So I look at it like it's the same thing as anybody who would be like a fiction writer or somebody who writes novel, novels or, or comic books or something. You got a wide range of characters. Even if it's somebody like who writes scripts for movies or playwright or whatever, there's always a range of characters. It makes it more interesting to just be writing from one point of view. That'd be too corny if I'm just writing from me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, I got I got a whole slew of characters. You know what I'm saying? I don't think y'all ready. When's the last time you seen MF Doom? Huh? When's I... the last time you seen MF Doom? Come on, y'all. Party people? Oh. Oh, oh, how y'all feeling tonight, Austin? Yeah. Everybody good, everybody good? Alright? Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! Come on, come on. Uh -huh. What? Uh -huh. Living on ball time, the clock tick faster. Yeah. That'll be the hour they knock the slick blaster. Sick Dastly and Muttley with sick laughter. Uh -huh. A gunfight, they come to cut the mix master. Yeah. I see E. Cole. Not, what? 
Y2G Steve twice to threefold. He sold scrolls, low and behold. Yeah. Know who's the is ever like the greatest story ever, ever told. told? Keep your glory gold and glitter. Yeah. For half, half of the niggas are thinking about the picture. Shit. The other half is rich and it don't mean shit to yeah. fill in a mission between both. When a twist of liquor tastes a little more, man. Uh-huh. Tastes like twist for uh-huh. dead. When they get the mic, the place get like, oh yeah. It's like you know what's about to happen. Uh-huh. Just keep your eye out like I, I, I captain. Is he still a fly guy clapping if nobody ain't? Hear it. And can he testify from in the spirit? Ooh. And living the true God, true giving God. y'all nothing but the lick like two broad. Got more God. lyrics in the church, got ooh Lord. And he hold the mic in your attention like two swords. Ooh. Or maybe one with two blades on it, dog on it. Don't touch the mic, like, like if the lays on it. The end to the means. Uh-huh. What the fuck type of message that sends to the fiends? That's why he bring his own needles uh-huh. and get more cheese than Doritos, Cheetos, or Fritos. Slip like 40 yeah. in the first and last of playing stuff like like a the accordion. Uh-huh. And it goes, nah, 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 nah. Oh. When he get the mic, he don't go oh, next. There. Leave him pussy cast like I hold the coat. Exercise index, won't need both flex. Won't take the one with no skinny legs. Woo. I like him a little thicker than that. Nice and fat. Check it out. Keep them hands up, Austin. Keep them hands up. Oh, them dripping up. off the beat, kinda. Dripping off the beat, uh-huh. kinda. Heat liner. Pippin', strippin', so sweet, minor. Woo. China was a neat signer. Trouble with the script, just yeah. double dip. Bubble it, subtle it, bitch it. Borderline skit, so. Sort of five tits, though. Pour the wine, pour the grind, pour the knock. Let's go. go. Ever since 10 11, glass, she made a reference. Yeah. Then it's last down. Seven alligators, seven Woo. at the gates of heaven, knocking, no answer. Slow yeah. dancer, hopeless romance. Up, no much flow stanzas. There's no. Villain, metal face, death stroke, guess so, still incredible, and that's grow. Just say ho, I'll test the yay yo, wild west style fest, y'all best to lay low. Hey bro, day glow, set the bet, pay dollars for the cheddar, get away, better get made go. The worst hated guard who perpetrated, all famous, never said it, in the perforated, raw neighborhoods. To me, from the musical aspect, hip hop is one of the directions to where it's, it's like a hundred or almost damn near a hundred percent on everything besides the music, like what you look like, the sound of your name, to what you're wearing, the brand of clothing, the what, whatever you, intoxicants you choose to put in your body, to, you know, things, everything except for what the music sounds like. So the mass is really a testament to, yo, it's not, it, it's not about none of that. It's straight about the wreck. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could be any color or whatever. You know what I'm saying? The mass represents just everybody. You know what I'm saying? To where, yo, Nothing matters, the brand of clothing, none of that matters. It's a matter how you spit and the beats, how the beats is raw, then that's what that's what it's about. Well, I'm smoking, I can't write at all. You know what I mean? I'm smoking, I got a blunt in my hand. How am I gonna, you know what I mean? I got, only got two Keep them up, 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 Plus it's not his fault, you kick slow Should've let your trick hold, chick hold and sit low Plus nobody could've do nothing once he let the brick go And you know I know, that's a bunch of snow The beat is so butter, keep the slow cutter as he utter the I told my mama, Jo, sometimes he buy quick, sometimes he buy slow, or vice versa. Whip up a slice of nice, first pop, hit it on the first try, villain, the worst guy. Buy hot tracks, lights, buy the pay a fat ass. Shot to the sky, down the square, shot, glass. And he won't stop till he got the masses. And show the ones that don't have to flows on high my last. Do it like the robot to head spin to boogaloo. Took a few minutes to convince the average boogaloo. It's ugly. Hey, look at you, it's a damn shame. Just remember all caps. When you swing your man there, that's Doom. all. That's all. Doom. Doom. Just like a dope swim. Doom. All caps. Doom. Big letters. Doom. Doom. And you know it like a poet, like baby doll. I bet she tried to say she gave me her all. She played ball. All bets off. The villain got the dice rig. And they say he accosted the man with the sliced wig. Doom. Allegedly, the investigation is still ongoing In this pesky nation, he got the best con blowing The pot double, now they really got trouble Man, man, never go Buka! How did you and Mad Lib decide to work together? Yeah, I got a call one day from um, 
It was from Peanut Butter Wolf. Up there at Stone Store, Wolf was a good friend of mine. Big up Wolf. And um, he mentioned his cat Madly, but I wasn't familiar with his work at the time. But I guess he heard some of my stuff and he was reaching out to me so that we could do a record together, like, you know, and want to give me some beats and whatnot. So at the time, it was the same same time when I was doing records for a lot of different companies and whatnot. So, you know, they all had to fly me out to L.A., you know, so I'm saying, like, good thing, flew out there, met these cats, cool, you know what I'm saying? Cats is cool from day one, you know what I'm saying? I got along with these dudes, you know, just good-spirited, good-hearted people and um, real record diggers, like, you know what I'm saying, beat maker, you know, had the same kind, we had the same kind of, same kind of vision and how how we did records is the same, you know, it's real similar. You know, still unique though. He had his unique style. So that's really how it started. He reached out ever since then that's been my man, you know what yeah. I mean? They were all living in a house together at the time, is that right? With the studio and the, yeah, and the bomb shelter in the basement. Yeah, yeah, they had a little mini mansion up on the hill. It was a pretty big crib though. It was a lot of space in there, you know, overlooking the the, the hills. So it was a good Good place to work at, you know what I'm saying? Real quiet up there. So what was a typical day like with you and Madlib trying to um, put this album together? A typical day? Well, were there typical days? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I can put it in a nutshell, you know what I'm saying? It was more like, okay, I'm trying to finish the record so I get back home. You know, I'm staying in LA. I'm trying to get back to my children and whatnot. So... I'm working as fast as I possibly can without sacrificing the quality, you know. So, but he's working too like that. Like I would hardly see him. We're in the same house, but he's always in the bomb shelter. And I'm always up on the deck writing, right? And then he'll give me another CD. I get the CD, and I'm writing. You know what I'm saying? And then he's back in the bomb shelter. So I would hardly speak to him. Like we hardly ever, you know. We might stop and he'll burn one and we'll listen to the beat and then that's it. And then the next two days I probably won't see him. But then I was getting mad work done knocking it out and um and then at the end of the, like week we we'll, we we'll listen to the shit after the end of the week and be like I you know I might let them know yo here's the angle I'm thinking about all I need is a verse quads on this one and it's done. And then that's it. You know so I hardly we hardly spoke really. It's more through like telepathy and like we spoke really through the music. Like he'll hear the joint and that's like my conversation with him. Then I'll hear a beat and that's like what he's saying to me. You know what I mean? Like it's real bug. Still to this day, that's how we that's how we do it. Okay. Hold a cold one like he hold an old gun, like he hold the microphone and stole the show for fun. Or a foe for ransom. Flows is handsome, holes in tandem, anthem, random. Tantrum, phantom of the grand old Opry, ask the dumb hottie, mask, pump shoddy, somebody stop me, hardly come sloppy on a retarded hard copy, after rockin' parties he departed in a jalopy, watch the drop top poppy, known as the grimy, limey, slimy, try me, blimey, simply smashing in a fashion that's timely, mad villain dashing in a beat rhyme crime spree, we rock the house like rock and roll, got more soul than a sock with a hole, Set the stage with a goal To have the game locked in a cage Getting shocked with a pole Overthrow it like throwing over a biscuit A lot of bitches think he's overly chauvinistic Let go his dick if that's the case Racks with a waste There's more cats to chase Dogs, he got it like new powers Woke up broke, spit the shit in a few hours Sheesh, been a lease since the glee club Had your fans saying please make me a dub well, since you asked kindly, where he been behind the mask, who can't find me? You're blind, in the wine zone, leave your mind blown when he shine with the nine, he's a rhinestone. Cowboy. No, 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 no. Now, everybody rhymes, it's like part of, you know, which is a good thing, it shows the influence of hip-hop on the world, you know what I'm saying, but... On the professional shit, I'd be like, yo, leave it up to the professionals, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. A lot of cats need to leave the mic alone, you know what I'm saying? And I think a lot of producers are getting away with making cheesy beats for the simple fact that they know it's already pre-sold. Yeah. They don't have to come more, or, you know, it's like they already know how much the record's gonna sell, they already know it, all that's predetermined, so it don't, don't matter what they get the public, which to me it's like they're jerking the public around, like, are you, you know what I'm saying? Like, the standard is getting so low now. Take 20-something ounces of CD you want to lease. 
to listen to this shit and something be that, you know, some value, you know? So the way I do it, I'm like, I'm trying to get people their money worth. Raise the standards back to good musical standards. introduced me to Doom, and as soon as we got to talking, we realized we had all these um, connections, but we didn't meet till 96 when we started working on the artwork for Operation Doom. And me and Doom became really, really close really quickly because he would come to New York to work on projects, he would stay at my crib, he was a graffiti writer, he was an artist, a comic book head, and most of the artwork you see is his concepts. When he would perform and do interviews, in the beginning he'd throw a bandana, whatever he had to do, his idea was to conceal his identity. For his first shows, we went out and got, you know the cheap Halloween masks you wore when you were a kid with the rubber band around the back? That was um, Darth Maul. It was red and black. I spray painted it silver, aluminum, uh, rust-oleum and cut out the shape and square eyes and made a prototype. And he rocks that in the first video he's got that. But then what we did was we went out and found the whole helmet from the movie Gladiator. So I took just the faceplate off and I took it to my boy who does sculpture in metal. We shaped it a little, and then I took the webbing from the yellow construction worker helmets. I took just that, which is a band and another band, and I fastened the, the faceplate so that he could wear it and it would actually swivel up. I don't think he'll reveal himself until I call you reveal me. You do have a name. My name is Gladiator. I mean, he should have been bigger when he was a kid. KMD was incredible. I think it influenced a whole lot of sounds out there. Like, if you listen to Sweet Premium Wine, it has the Drunken Master Kung Fu samples and shit that the Wu-Tang did years later. And now everyone does. They were way ahead of the game. And that was Doom's production as well. And I guess he was kind of disgusted with the whole industry for a while. He had to get his head together. But once he came back, it's only inevitable that the cream rises to the top. And he came back out in an era of, of a lot of wax shit. Really, really commercial, pop-sounding hip-hop. So dudes were hungry for the raw shit. He was about, I'm a, I'm a musician. I'm a master motherfucking musician. You paid to hear the music. I'm not a monkey on a string to dance for you. By Doom keeping his face concealed, he's able to have a life. I've been in the club when he's sitting at the bar before his show and nobody's paying him any attention. And he can drink and be a normal dude. Run backstage, put the mask on, all of a sudden everybody's cheering and, and chanting his lyrics. If, if, if he walked through the park right now, nobody would say shit to him. You can do that. I opened for Doom, and it was a freaking typical Doom scenario. The guy didn't show up for an hour and a half, and I had a bag of records. I was still using vinyl, and the guy wasn't showing up, and I was running out of records. I was playing B-sides, and people were yelling, Doom, Doom, and all I could hear was, boo, boo, and I was thinking to myself, these little shits, 
these little freaking all ages braces wearing pieces of shit, little high school fucking peasant shit stained fucks. You're not going to boo me. So I walked off the stage and I fucking went backstage and I was like, somebody better give out some free shit to these little fuckers because they're booing and Doom's nowhere to be found. He's probably getting domed up in the back room. Like, what do you think? He's a freaking super villain. He's not your friend. He's not your, some sugar coated, nice guy rapper who's here for you. He's going to do what he wants. You're lucky if he even comes out. Slicing, fuck with me. Hold up, cut. Let me twist my hat. How you look, Cardi? <laughs> I don't know that nigga. You don't know the fuck. God damn it. 
You was playing with me, man. You made me put the mask on. You gonna get what you asked for. Doom was too much. I almost shed a tear. All right. Good seeing y'all. Peace. Peace. Heard a lot about all y'all niggas. Hell yeah. Oh my god. Y'all niggas is ill too, man. You got the wild. You know what I mean? Not as wild as y'all niggas. I'm trying to keep up. He said T Boogie in them. Doc, he calls you T Boogie. You look like you have one more thought. Who, me? I yeah. did. I was just going to tell you that I know what you were thinking about Mike Flynn today. It was the old MF Doom line. Snitches telling all their business, sitting in court, and being their own star witness. <laughs> You're making me look really you bad know, with my rap lyrics. First of all, Lupica, first Lupica for the win, FTW, as the kids say. And also, I, I wasn't sure, but I had this feeling through the satellite you had one more thing, and you did. And we appreciate you for that. <laughs> so that rap snitches shit on the Doom album, yeah, that's easily one of the greatest shit ever. Rap snitches, telling all they business. Taking the cup, they be their own star witness. Do you see the perpetrator? <laughs> yeah, I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was hilarious. <laughs> I was like, oh this song needs to be out. Now. Needs to be a hit. <laughs> you see, like, oh my god. How you gonna sell crack and talk about it? <laughs> That's the point of selling crack. It's supposed to be a secret. <laughs> Every week is mystery meat. See, we stew food. We need food. <laughs> he rocks the mask just to cover the raw flesh. A rather ugly brother with flows is gorgeous. Drop dead joints, hit the whips like bird shit. They need it like a hole in their head or a third tip. <laughs> Her bra smells. His car's really all hell banned from all balls and kicked out the car bell. <laughs> <laughs> keep that's... a cooker where the jaw fell and keep a cheap hooker who's off the hook like Mar Bell. <laughs> Top leading lady lover, metal coated raw gear. Stop eating babies, color sugar coated Mard squares. The odd pair of squares and golf bears, even when it's rotten, you gotta do the hard years. I wrote this joint about around New Year's, off a couple of shots and a few bears, but who cares? Enough about me, it's about the beats, not about the streets and whose food you about to eat. Arama animals, just to kill them cynical, whether it's animal, vegetable, or mineral. It's a miracle how he gets so lyrical and proceed to move the crowd like an old Negro spiritual. I, I bet a million dollars on Doom against Lil Wayne. Oh, what up? The old rapper, shut up. And while you shutting up, put a shirt on, at least a button up. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> it's the rappers are shipping males. Out of work jerks since they shut down. Shipping dales. <laughs> <laughs> and out of here, internet's busiest music nerd. There's been a big to do online over the past few days because Drake, aka Champagne Poppy, the Canadian Keith Sweat, he came out with this Instagram post showing a picture from the front cover of Mad Villain, MF Doom, Mad Villain. Fantastic, classic hip hop record. Oh my God, where is it? It's sitting right here in my, uh, in my collection somewhere. But anyway, a lot of people are reacting to this kind of negatively. Like, oh, what does Drake know about some MF Doom? Why is Drake talking about MF Doom? Y'all set this off. It's just, there's no way to really explain it. It's kind of its own little, its own little feel, its own little sound. You know? I don't think anything really compares to it. It's just art. As, a, as, a, as like a compilation of songs, all of them hold their own weight. But I think as, a, as one whole thing, as a piece, it's gonna be a very uh, informative piece. It's gonna be that, it's gonna be that joint. You know? To me, everything happened organically, and it's still going organically. And you know, so it's hard to explain it 
to explain it as it's happening, you know what I'm saying? It just is what it is, you know what I mean? Um, I guess in the future when people look back, they'll be able, you know, to pass another another view on it, make another judgment on it. But for me, I'm like, yo, we doing it. That's how we do it, you know? I feel like I know him forever, you know what I'm saying? He stays on point, you know? <laughs> Nigga, I'm trying to keep up with you, kid, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's just... Being, being around and watching them work is just a learning experience in itself. So I appreciate them doing this. Not many people get to be around doing it, as you can see. So I appreciate the opportunity. Bro, likewise. He old soul. You know what I'm saying? He built for this city. I can tell. Do me a favor, right? What? If Bishop calls up, he comes by. Tell him I ain't here. Why don't you like Bishop anymore? Why you ask so many questions, man? Come on, Bishop. Why? Cause he's cool. He's cool, huh? Well, you just tell Mr. Cool Man if he calls and he comes by that I ain't here. See, now a lot of people ain't impressed, I know. Cause I'm 15 rapping and the kid ain't got no flow. You both souls drowning in the words I'm spitting, so get the robo. Cause the stream of words don't grow more, not grow more. Cause they loco and my mojo is so pro, yet I'm loco and still stroll for mo glow. But your whole know that I'm up next. She undressed, showing the breast, getting ready for sex. It's like that. When you closer to the cash, the bros that used to laugh are ready to give you ass. It's nothing new, it's something you get accustomed to. When people start feeling your crew When feeling the moves you making So please don't be mistaken The game is what I'm taking I'm patient Cause other dudes really ancient And really ain't shit They basic Mine's vacant My rhyme's sacred And I aim straight for greatness I'm all about my cash And my cream and the dream Cause it's all the nigga need in this thing You losing the proof I'm the truth Yeah I'm young with you My motherfucker see I feed for this The green and kiss Ain't worry about none of these greasy chicks Cause all they want is the cash when you get close And all they see is the cash when you get close I spit facts, you spit shit No one reacts to just had to let you know You're wrong We fucking I ain't we fucking Ooh, you're like a star on Chasing all of the rain away when you come around, you bring brighter days. You're the perfect one for me. You forever will be. And I will rock this microphone for always. I hold a mic like niggas hold their girls tight. I ain't after her, her poppy, your actor, her pearl white, the hook or nah. And many times it's out of hit it. To the Pacific, more times than times in the prison. Once you broke north, I crashed the barbecue like where they got the garden true. That's the garden, me, pardon you. Cheapers, I was told back. The whole day access to my people. Call back my secretary gatekeeper. Like I ain't two buys a dollar. You stupid though, you know the super villain, you stupid ass. I had this style ever since I was a child. Got this other style, I ain't flipping a while. It go pure scientific intelligence. With one point that's relevant. MCs who styles the developments. And once a smoke clear television, the super motherfucking villain. He came through raw like the elements. Or 99 plus one of them. And with a flow to pull a fraud nigga file from out in front of him. When we were draw, we had tons of fun. Me and my guns enough. Actual true living sons of them. Dead planets and car Jews Throwing divine rules to Come through, we will overcharge you Ooh, I'm all for remorse for shit Except for once, once I took my fronts out Lost them shit Scientific, berserk like Red Alert I really want to pick up with dirt for cheddar dirt The funniest experiments is where I went Obviously dead then And spent every red cent To rule you And drop more jewels than schools do Even TV news is designed to fool you Yeah you, who hear the most grimy suggestions For brothers with fly names and ID questions That's a secret like Victoria Teddy says that's edible Guns ain't ready yet for the incredible Team of MCs who broke off fakes Who thought they were slaughterproof Stalking through like North Lake waterproof Tat tat got the end of that. After hit the bar with baby girl bartender, I told her for a while, mingling with no single messages of stay tuned for more spine yeah. tingling adventures. So how do you actually write your stuff? Do you sit down and think I'm gonna do this, or maybe you're in some sort of an argument with someone and some thought pops into your head and then you develop it like that? How do you create your content? Hmm, it comes about a lot of different ways. Um, like I said, I'll read a story and get inspired by the story. Like maybe one aspect of the story will make me laugh and I'll take that aspect and turn it into a whole other thing. Or um, 
That's another way. I listen to the beat first. Yeah, I just listen to the beat back to back. You know what I mean? And whatever the beat make me think of, I'll, I'll, I'll just start it right there. Here with the Mad Villain Tour, record release parties, featuring superstars like Mad Lib, uh, Peanut Butter Wolf, J-Rock, special guest Jay Dill, of course, the Metal Face Man, MF Doom himself. We're in front of Cosmo's Record Shop, favorite dig and hangout, and uh, we're about to go check in with the fellas and see what they're finding. Can you make any money when these guys come into town, or what? No, no, no. <laughs> that is probably somewhat of a travesty having me. Then he told the people, you can call me your majesty. Keep your battery charged. You know it won't stick, yo. And it's not his fault to kick slow. My partner in crime. Yes, two criminals right here. You see this. This is Peanut Butter Wolf, the man who founded Stone Throw Records. And, uh, Wolf. Tell me a little bit about what you're finding here at this fine establishment. Oh, man. Everything I wanted and more. The man of the hour, Otis. Mad Lib. So, yeah, I was at a record store today buying shit up. Of course, you're always buying all kinds of crazy stuff. Gene Ammons. Oh, well, they put this at the bottom. I know. Oh, you know. Yeah, I buy all types of crazy stuff. Test myself out. Canada got records, though. How about all these Sun Ra records I've been looking at? Yeah, too expensive. Doom? Big e. All the ladies come through. I'm really curious because, you know, you've been hanging out with one of the guys that we all consider, you know, one of the best producers in the game, you know, in, in the game from, from independent to commercial, whatever. Has he uh, influenced your, you know, way of thinking about beats at all? Oh, yeah. Oh, just got me back into the whole, like, fun part of it, you know what I mean? Like, like until then, I ain't really have a partner. Now I feel like I found my partner, you know what I mean? Process wasn't really a big deal. We just hung out, went to clubs, got drunk. I'll hand him a beat CD. I'll go to sleep. He'll work on some music. He'll go to sleep. I'll wake up. I'll make some more beats, listen to what he did. We might take some shrooms together if we awake at the same time. And and then listen to the music when it's done. Hmm, I don't think so. Because people are expecting too much and they're complaining about certain things that the, the, this Doom record is going to have anyway. Mastering and mixing, we, we like our stuff dirty. and people. I think people are on a different level now. That was good for them, but now it's kind of different. I like to listen to the album. No, I love it. I love I mean, the new album. I mean, do you really think so? That people would have a different expectation? Yeah, yeah, people have too many expectations thinking it should be this or that, but it's just a continuation. Yeah. Really like a step above or a step lower. It's just more songs. It's not like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, was there, a, did you go, I mean, you explained the process, but I mean, conceptually, did you guys have like, oh, we're going to have this type of idea? No, well, no. Just do the song. It's all freestyle. It's not, you don't sit there and plan. It's just freestyle and it just happens. Like, it's the best way for us. Yeah. And that's more or less the same way with, with, with a lot of these collaborative projects, for yeah, you, right? Yeah, luckily. <laughs> Our hand St. Louis is a beautiful view. Beautiful view. Misty a little bit, like rainy a little bit. Still absolutely beautiful weather, beautiful people. Do all thing I ain't get this change. As usual. Feed these babies and feed the animals. What, what up, y'all? I don't know if y'all motherfuckers know real stage, yo. A lot of good shit coming up this year. And there, yeah. You know what I mean? Villain been off y'all motherfuckers scope for a while. The cut, you know what I'm saying? I ain't healing up, freshing up and shit. Get ready to come through, fuck y'all up, you know what I'm saying? Don't worry about it. Let y'all live, you know what I'm saying? When y'all wake up, bitch niggas. You can edit that part, but I'm saying all oh, my real niggas too. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Who do you use? Look out here, Rachel, boy. You know what I'm saying? 
I wish it may back. Cuba, doing a thing, you know what I'm saying? Beautiful weather. You never know what a villain might show with the same shirt and the same shit up. Andorra. Who on race? Come through, bring your joint, come through. Doom! What up, y'all? There's a lot of love out here. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I only play the games that I win at and stay the same with more rhymes down as ways to skin cat. Matter of fact, let me rephrase. With more rhymes than ways to fill a felines in these days. Watch the path of the black one, the super villain. He rep clubs for Delph in a drunken stupid chillin'. Ready and willing to inadvertently fall that rhyme of any wanna, rhyme or small brat. Who got more snottier flows and snotty nose? Who holds mics like you know karate body blows? Nobody knows the trouble I see from the MPV fly dirty tail in the bubble I-30. For the record, this is some shit I just thought of y'all. Science fiction that's not admissible in no court of law. I live to rock mics in 3D. The only reason I seem to stop to snuff the TV. I heard beats. I sound like karaoke with monkeys rhymes on the leash like don't have this fairy token. Hit them with a penny so we could get these peanuts. And I thought we was nuts. I used to get free cuts. They locked Lex Luthor up in Green Haven. Since when a nigga never really been too clean shaven. Misbehaving rap stars and he list them in. Call me Mr. Ben. I'm at where your sister went. Intelligent, used to write and be well spoke. And all a nigga wanna do, fight and sell. Tell Joe. This could lead to catastrophe. About to stop the violence right after these last three. Shots from the black bat got me a headlock. Holding on to sanity by strands of that dreadlock. She told me get off. I said, bitch, let me set this shit off so I can get rich right quick. Then it hits me like the point of intoxication. Come out and rock this nation like oxidation. A lot of niggas out is rusty like oxidation. In this world, strangest, most dangerous occupation. But you could do it, you the super, like in your building, villain, like tripe kindery. And all my children, plotting, and it's short to pay ends. With some real mature women, there's some more they friends. When bad men roll tight, it's actual truth. It's like a pack of big bamboo with natural glue. Who grip next from X to triple X? Just came from 4D, follow the ripple effects, and it'll lead you right to them. Oh snap, it seems you walked into a trap through rack. Zoics, this place is full of pretender willies One false move and get broke off like in the Phillies True believers, ain't nothing new to us uh, Cook with special powers like how to tell the future Uh, uh, rhyme of the month, two pages long Busting off a gauge with my cake on wrong Sunday song remind me of a Raekwon take song With a fleet of super bads from status, Ray Dawn Chong Say hey if y'all with me y'all Say hey if y'all with me y'all Say hey if y'all with me y'all National and geographic down to the titty ball. Say your career in hip hop ends tomorrow and you have nothing left and you have to start all over again. What would you do? What would I do? Yeah. Find somebody who got some equipment and a mic. <sighs> That's all I need. <laughs> Somebody got equipment, mic, and a like, little bit of electricity, and it's on from there. Give me a couple of hours. I have to go right back. Nice. <laughs> Word up.
Are there any last words you'd like to put out to your fans and, and or potential fans? Yeah, I say, um, whatever you have a love for doing, whatever you feel like that's your gift, that you that, that everybody has a gift, whatever you feel like your gift is, pursue it and use it for good. You know what I mean? Also, peace in the, in the Middle East and all that. And like, we need peace around the world, but goddamn, these motherfuckers, like, a lot of people bugging, yo. It's up to the future generations, yo. It's up to the seeds, so I say to the seeds, you know, use your better judgment. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. girls in the house. It's not a in the house. Throw your hands in the air. Yeah. And over here, throw your hands in the air. Yeah. And I'm fucking throw your hands in the air. And that's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Check it out. Uh, a gas face. Get it. Look at your smile. I'm stuck with all hands. I'm monkey back to work. What work? I jerked through a wrench. I thought of this. Yeah. Maybe some yeah. just yeah. I put yeah. the ball on my fist. To the show, he didn't follow where y'all taxi went. Bullets be available on wax axe, fax mill. They all in opposition to his ass, wax tax bill. But will attach the Senate, slum lord tenant, and the super like 1A. Have a fun stay. One day, he plans to put in a runway. With enough land for his own projects, gunplay. Session 8 penthouse, made look like Faye Dunaway. A lot of rappers ass out like gay runaway. It's how they say, some are risque. All day, every day, give out Emmys a quick way. Have an average MC say they need a sick day. It really ain't got shit to say like Timmy McVeigh. You know Hunt's a real ragtag punch. The school he kept a new rag in a bag lunch. Just to eat heads on some break dance shit and spit. He writ this skit in Sanskrit. If the pants fit sport of a rock and blow. Your man like Rollo on a slow can knock a dough. It's like the same hustle bro to knuckles go. Tuck in the cheek of the select and then buckle so. Moogly moogly, you see that loogie? Yeah. Keep it on the DL, Hillary. You don't watch it, he my house.
Sounds are like Yogi. Just a cut her Lucy like Who's been so rogi? Who he gumdrops? Who he got a style from his pots? He gotta give the bump some props. Ask your sister, her beatbox mold thicker. That cool man nigga, you talk some more liquor. Villain for hire, admire the sound. Make sure the price is right before you come on down. Rappers be on some you, you, you. Forgot who they talking to. Too much pork stew. They need to not come out with nothing new. Blew the whole shit up or so what this boy is doing. Boom, shoot the game like walk through. Run them, son of them, like Mr. Rock do tattoo. The way a lot of clowns get down is unnatural. This flow flip like oranges, apples. Rhymes like limes to a lemonade snapple. Leave it at the chapel, don't eat scrapple. First thing they notice when they crump through, they bling it yeah. Then they start remembering the cling on with the ring on. In came the villain with the old gear. Hide there, y'all play the rear this whole year. My year. Metal face pin like brittle pad. Y'all know his still so don't feel so bad. Machines call him old dad, the one the old ho had. Knew he was a winner since a swimmer in the gonad. Okay, pal, pay him like PayPal. So we could be A-OK, -okay, not OK, okay corral. corral. I think today I make the lady say, ow. Fuck around, take a bow. Who made his first bill? Still came oh, in some place. This will be straight A's, still made the grade. Hard ass, how you get cash so bad? He had the last, he left back in the retarded class. Should've went to Bosies, watch them all closely. Who you think he told to me? Tell them who always win. At least they pretend this. Find them this way. Get a real piece of tent. I choose this from Wellington. They all support shit. They don't even know where their money's spent. Yo, that's that shit. What the fuck? Yo, that's that shit. Yo, what's this down south style shit you just start doing? I'm saying, yo. I'm saying, versatility. What's all that, yo? Sometimes the younger crowd wanna hear the new shit, the crunk shit. I'm like, we do that. We do the old school shit we gotta do. You know what I mean? I'm saying, right y'all? Oh my goodness, yo. I bring the crunk shit, I bring the old school shit. <laughs> Low. Yeah. From the top of the key for three villains. Yeah. Been on in the game as long as he can really is swing. Hey. Turn the corner, spinning, bust that ass and get, get up. Dust off the mask, whoever laughed, give him a head up. Hey, uh -huh. he got jumped. They pumped his adrenaline. They said it made him tougher than a bump of raw medicine. medicine. To write all night long, the hourglass is still slow. Flow from hell born through free power like Lil Co. And still old bills. Hey, hey dudes so forever yeah. Slay crews when it comes to who's more cleverer Used to wore another goose V with a fur collar And charge a fee for loose leaf Word for dollar You, you heard holla Brought a dude we need food Each a team's for sure These streets all seem rude For fam like the partridges Part of him for the mix up Battle for your Atari cartridges Or put your kicks up It's a stick up Go 
only Google, do they Google like Gary Gonu of News Review. But who knew the mass had a loose screw? Hell, the Harley Tell had it tied up like the Drells and Archie Bell. It speaks well of the hyperbase. Was it even tweaked and a leak into cyberspace? Couldn't wait for the snipes to place. At least a track listing bold print typeface. Stop for a year, come back with thumbtacks, pop for the beer. Yeah. With hip hop share coppers, used to wear flip flops, now I wear gear coppers. That's right, uh huh. We're in it for the keys. You might as well don't ask for no free shit. Capiche? Capiche. All my aching hands for breaking in grands and breaking in mic stands. Mr. Mr. Villain, the smiles on your chick while he put us up in your shoes, run your kicks. You heard it on your radio, tape it. Play it in your stereo, your crew will go ape shit. For raw lyrics, it smells them like a hunch. The same intuition, I tell them like the punch. Curses, he's truly the worst. Is with enough rhymes to spread throughout the boundless universes. Let the beat blast, he told them with a mask. He said, you bet your sweet ass. It's made of fine chrome alloy. Find him on the grind, he's the rhinestone. Villain!